Hey everyone, this is Dimitri Pergamonic with MarketChameleon.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you could get valuable insights into a particular stock's open interest and how that open interest is distributed either amongst different expirations and different strikes. And the idea there is to see if there is a particular concentration of open interest either in a expiration or on some particular option contract and we're going to use SPY in this example and I'm here on the SPY options chain and above here I have different tabs to select from and we're going to click on this one open interest and the first graph that pops up is the distribution of SPY's open interest by its different expirations so these are the different expirations in SPY and these bars are stacked call open interest for yellow and put open interest for blue so if you hover over it you could see the the uh, amount of open interest in the puts and the amount of open interest in the calls and the percentage of the puts versus the calls in that expiration so this one right now sticks out the most september 15th expiration we see that there is over 3 million contracts open in the puts and over 1 million contracts open in the calls. 71% of all the open interest in September 15th expiration is in the puts. So that particular expiration sticks out from all the others. And the next thing we could analyze is how is the open interest distributed among strikes so we're irrelevant of expiration which strikes have the most open interest and to do that we could click on here by strike and that and now we see the open interest by strike in SPY and here this one is the top one it looks like it's the 400 strike and there are over 784,000 contracts open on the 400 strike versus 65,700 on uh, calls on the 400 strike. So 92% of the open interest on that strike are puts. Um, another thing we could do is take a look at how the open interest has been changing from one day to the next so the total open interest has been increasing or decreasing is there a trend and to do that you could just simply click on the symbol like this as py and now we see by date you could see over here in time how the open interest has changed from one day to the next so it looks like it fell off over here potentially because of an expiration um, and it grew a little bit from day to day it looks like and then fell again over here so nothing unusual pops out here and currently we see that there are 68 uh, 68 percent of all the open interest is in the puts 38 32 percent is in the calls um now let's look at a particular expiration when we came over here we did notice that september 15th stands out let's take a look at september 15th i'm going to click on here and find september 15th expiration uh which is let's see right over i think i have to scroll down sorry everyone there are a lot of expirations here in SPY and there it is right here now that we selected it um, we could see graphically how the open interest is distributed amongst different strikes on that September 15th expiration so here we have uh, the this bar here on the four it looks like on the 400 strike and we see that a hundred 85,000 contracts are open on the 400 put versus 12,561 
on the 400 call in September 15th expiration. Um, and this is a quick way to get insights and analyze how open interest is distributed in a particular stock by expiration, by strike, um, um, within the expiration, how the open interest is distributed. And we could also see graphically the change in open interest from one day to the next. Hopefully, everyone, this was helpful and hope to see you guys in the next video.